Jay Washington here at C2E2, and one of the greatest things you're able to do is meet some of the famous stars from your favorite television shows. And I'm honestly pleasured and loved to be standing next to the goddess of love, Bilquis, Miss T. David Aki herself. How are you? Oh, you are making me blush right now. You can't tell, but I am blushing. Don't worry, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm blushing fierce. Because I know the skin's blushing. So you get it, you get it. Yeah, I understand. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I'm having a great time out here at C2E2. How are you enjoying seeing all the fans that come to see you that are big fans of the show? I mean, I'm a geek. I'm a... Uh, Anybody can tell you. Anyone who has met me and talked to me for five minutes, they go, "Oh, you're a geek. You're not a. You don't envelop people every day." Um, and I say, "Yeah, I just play that on TV." But this is home. This is heaven. This is. I go. This, these are my people. So it's amazing to be able to celebrate things that I love, that we love, um, with people that are feeling the same kind of joy and excitement. So this is heaven. For me, coming to conventions, like I said, I've been a nerd since a little kid growing up in the hood. And it's like, you can't, you can't tell them when you get older, like, yo, I'm a nerd. They'd be like, you don't get too big. But then as you get older now, we see it's being celebrated. The nerd culture is being embraced. How do you feel about that? I am so happy because the great thing about nerd culture is, hey, you enjoy something and I enjoy something and let's come together and, and talk. And I, I feel like there's a kind of uh, openness and acceptance about that whole culture. And for it to now be celebrated large scale, it can only do good things. Absolutely. Have you got a chance to see some of the amazing cosplay through here? Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. Um, but my friends laugh. Uh, Joey, my agent, also laughs. When I see something cool and exciting, something from like Doctor Who or Star Trek or Outlander, any of those things, I have to stop. I have to stop and freak out. And uh, so I'm like trying not to weird people out too much, but uh, there's some amazing, amazing cosplay out here. I've seen a couple that I had to stop myself and like, wait, I need a selfie with y'all. And they was like, uh, what are you doing? I'm like, just, just stand there and take this picture. So let's go to the show, American Gods. First of all, congratulations on its success, first and foremost. And going into season two, how, how excited are you about that? I'm gonna take a minute and try and simmer down and uh, seem like I'm kind of cool. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm. I mean, this is amazing. Um, we got to what is it? Two days ago, we did a table read, mm -hmm. and for one thing, we are that dorky cast that loves each other. Sure. No, we literally walk around saying "I love you" to each other. It's it's that crazy, um, and so with everyone's busy schedules and all the things that we're all doing on, you know, in our hiatus time, we don't always get to spend that much time together. And so getting to see each other is the biggest, the biggest gift ever. And then you have Neil Gaiman there and you are getting to build a character with this incredible, I mean, he's, he's geek God basically, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, it's, it's a dream. It's a literal dream. Did you all ever expect the reception from season one to be what it's been? It's, there's this thing as an actor where you do something that you love and you hope, you hope that people, you know, enjoy it and see the love and the care and the passion you have for it. And then to actually see people reaching out, saying how much they enjoy it, how much um, th they feel that you've brought the character to life, that you've brought the story to life. It's, you can only hope for it, but then it's beyond anything you hope for. And you, the hopes and dreams have come true because, again, the legions of fans is shown heavily on social media. I know you guys have tweeted about it, Instagrammed and everything. How do you feel getting ready to season two? What can the fans expect? Oh, they can expect a lot more fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when, when I say a lot more fan fiction, that's coming from all sides of it. Whether it's people that are working on costuming and, and makeup, or uh, to people that are doing more writing, to people that are just performing on the screen. I mean, this is a family getting to do something that we love and, and looking forward to sharing that with the larger family. Uh, in general. I know I'm looking forward to being a part of the family that gets to embrace that. I was skeptical at first when I heard about it. I saw the trailers for the first season and then I started watching and I was like, well, I'm here for all of this. <laughs> and then I heard you guys got renewed and I was like, let's do this. So from my bottom of my heart, much continued success to yourself, the entire cast. I hope you enjoy the rest of C2E2 and have a wonderful day and thank you for your time. Thank you. The goddess of love, Miss Yatady Badaki.